So the nature of love in terms of energy is actually quite a palpable experience in terms of resonance at the nature of our both more solidified portions, which would be like the nature of our nervous systems calibrating in terms of more density. And then, you know, more things that are sort of difficult to measure, but are actually real. I say not everything that we can measure matters. Not everything that matters can be measured. So even up into the point where we discovered the ultraviolet magnetic spectrum, like that was still impacting reality. But like we didn't have the conceptualization at the level of the mind. And so we didn't really know how to talk about it, but it didn't mean it was that it wasn't there. And so a lot of what you're speaking to, uh, what people refer to as like esoteric, is not really esoteric, right? It's actually a direct experience. And a lot of the self-realization path actually gives like nothing what I'm saying through this whole thing and what you're saying is actually anything to do with the nature of like outside of direct experience. So everything is verifiable in a more true and authentic way than anything you find in a book, right? So love is this resonance in the nature of our nervous system on the parasympathetic side. So in fact, like I always say meditations like weightlifting for the parasympathetic nervous system because you're dissolving the nature of the amygdala, which is our main fear trigger center in, in the brain. And we see this even after six weeks of 30 minutes of meditation, a change in blood flow to this region in the brain. But through that, the less fear you have, meaning the more you dissolve the illusions of separation, the more love you naturally actually uh, experience, both self and others. And so it's part of where like, you know, my practice of what I would consider like that orientation in the nature of the nervous system why I meditate 18 hours a week is like understanding that like information doesn't equal transformation, right? So if I'm practicing love, what am I doing? Uh, the standpoint is like meditation is you're just silently sitting, you're accepting the moment, you're receiving the moment exactly as it is, just the way it is. And if you have uncomfortability arise, meaning the nature of thoughts or patterns or emotions, is you're just being in it, you're just receiving it. There's nothing to do. And if you're trying to do something in meditation, <laughs> you're not actually just meditating, meaning just silently sitting and just allowing things to be exactly as they are. Of course, there's many different iterations of focused practice meditation, uh, but ultimately that is a form of, of actually love from an energetic level is the nature of the nervous system moving from the state of openness and receptivity and the ability to actually embrace and accept all things is the energy that you experience when you're fully open. You can see that in the nature of like the conditioning of the mind too. So someone wins an NBA championship and all of a sudden these individuals who are very much in the nature of the mind and contracted around achievement of this goal, let go. And you see this flood of emotions of just experience and love of self and others and their expressions like, you know, very much change. It's because they've given themselves permission to experience love in that moment. It's a conditioning, but it's still that experience, right? And the ability to experience that in perpetuity is to actually unwind all conditionings. You experience that all the time without any conditions. <laughs> That's why it's called unconditional, unconditional. love, yeah. right? Uh, is that element and the ability to have that insight is to look within, right? That's why it's called insight, is your sight turns inward. And you recognize these truths. And as you do, you can't unsee or unexperience what you have seen as truth.